Hi, I'm Paul Messing. I'm a glass artist living and working in Southern California. Today I'm in my studio at the Coachella Valley Art Center in Indio, California. I'm so happy to have been accepted into the Workhouse Glass National Exhibition for 2021. And I'm here to describe the piece that's in the show and to tell you about my overall process. My entry into the national exhibit is called Grand Mosque. It was made using 20 layers of glass. The imagery is created using glass enamels applied using decals. Using decals is a bit different for me because I usually hand paint all the enamel in my work. But the photograph that this piece was based on was so detailed that I thought it would be represented better using decals created directly from the photographs. This piece is nine and a half inches tall and seven and a half inches wide. At 20 layers, it is over two inches thick and is freestanding. I used a photograph of the mosque to create 18 different sets of decals, one set for each of 18 layers with two clear layers capping the piece. You can see that the image is therefore applied all the way through the glass, and it shows amazing depth and dimension. While the front view shows depth into the work, viewing it from the top or from the side allows you to see a little bit of the layering. Even though this is now a solid single piece of glass that is more than two inches thick, you can still see a ghost line where the layers met. And looking into the side or the top, you can see the enamel that was applied to each layer. The reference photograph for the Grand Mosque was taken by a collector who asked me to create it in glass as a commissioned artwork. There were some technical challenges in using 18 layers of decals. Getting the registration correct so that everything lines up perfectly takes a lot of effort, particularly with so much detail in the tile floor and in the carvings in the arches. So to prepare for creating the collector's commission, I created this smaller scale maquette to ensure that everything would work as expected and I was very happy with the results. As I mentioned earlier, for most of my work, I paint by hand with enamel rather than use decals. To understand how I do this, let's look at a finished piece of mine called Misty Morning. It is nine layers, but still shows a lot of depth. I play with the layers as well as with color, translucence, and texture to enhance the sense of depth and dimension. This piece also has a fog effect added to create an ethereal quality and to give you the feeling that the trees are disappearing into the mist. To show you how this is done, I have here another version of Misty Morning which is painted in shades of blue. Starting from the back, you can see how I've painted each individual layer. The trees get larger and darker and carry greater visual texture in the tree trunks as you move forward through the piece. When you stack them, you get a sense of what the image will look like, but it isn't until the final firing that you see the full depth and dimension. The final firing fuses the layers together, so instead of looking at nine individual layers of glass, 
you are looking through one thick glass panel that is over one inch thick. Similarly, with Grand Mosque, if you look carefully, you can see the enamel as it was applied to each individual layer. For example, the enamel for this large archway in front was applied on five different layers. So you get a sense of depth just looking at the archway. In an overall view of this piece, you can see past the column on the left, through the larger arch, and even through another arch where you can finally see a gate in the distance. Most often, my work depicts a foggy forest, often with a pathway through it. You get a sense of the unknown part of the forest that you can't see through the fog, and I feel that it suggests our futures on this earth. We make decisions every day that will have ramifications later in our lives. We see these decisions for what they are today. But like the distant trees in the fog, we don't fully understand how they will affect our future relationships or our living situations. Now let me complete the process description. Once all the layers are painted, they're placed in the kiln individually at 1100 degrees. And this burns the enamel on and makes the image permanent. Once the layers are cool, they're stacked and they go back into the kiln, this time surrounded with brick to keep the glass from turning into a puddle. Then I heat the stack to 1500 degrees. At this higher temperature, the glass begins to soften and the layers fuse together into a single thick panel. But it's not so hot that the images distort. Then the stack is cooled slowly through a process that we call annealing. And annealing is a very carefully controlled process to prevent breakage as that thick stack of glass cools. For my nine layer pieces, the entire final kiln process, including annealing, takes two days. But for my 20 layer pieces, such as the Grand Mosque, the cooling process takes five days. And of that, four days is spent annealing the glass. And there's no peaking allowed. Here is a photo of Tividale Park after it is stacked in the kiln and surrounded with brick and ready to be fired in the kiln. You can't see the image clearly because it is covered with a sprinkling of clear glass powder, which looks white due to light reflections. But once it is fired, the clear powder does show clear and provides a smooth and glossy finish to the front of the artwork. I hope you've enjoyed this description of my process. You can see more of my work on my website at paulmessink.com. There you'll also see information about my live workshops and recorded video series. Through either the workshops or the recorded video, you can learn everything you'd like to know about my process and my techniques, including things like how to work with enamels, the firing schedules that are needed, and how to maximize depth and dimension in layered work. And no prior painting experience is required. So thank you for watching this description. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy all the glass that's shown at the Workhouse Glass National Exhibition.